Hi, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail and welcome to my 12 Projects of Christmas. I did this last year and I had so much fun with it that I decided to do it again this year. Gonna do it a little bit different this year. Instead of doing a, pro a project every day for the few days before Christmas, I decided to spread it out a little bit. Gives both you and me time to get the projects completed in time for the busy gift giving season. So what I'm going to be doing is every Monday and every Wednesday until Christmas, I'll be posting a project, um, how to make the project. And then I will also have it posted on my blog at followingthepapertrail.blogspot.com. So you'll see photographs and further instructions on how to make the projects. So you can visit there and get more and then also here with a video. So it'll be both here on YouTube and it'll also be on my blog, um, how to make these projects. A couple of them are mini albums like this first one. Some are home decor items. Some are great gift giving type of items. It's kind of a, a little bit of something for everybody kind of thing. The ones that are coming up here before Thanksgiving also have um, opportunity to make them more of a Thanksgiving theme. And many of them, are themed to where you can use them for any of your gift giving kind of ideas. This first one that I'm going to be doing is an envelope mini. Go figure, me doing an envelope mini? How crazy. Um, I bet you guys all thought that I didn't have any more ideas left for envelopes. Uh, well, I do. <laughs> um, so what we're going to need for this one is we're going to need some envelopes. But let me show you a few of the albums. I got to tell you one thing before you start. These are addictive. I've made all four of these since yesterday afternoon, and I have another one that I'm demoing today. Super fast, super easy, super addictive. So when you need a quick last minute gift, you can make these elaborate or as simple as you want to. But here's this first one, Snow Much Fun. Um, and this uses um, the Tim Holtz, one of the Tim Holtz paper lines. And you can use pretty much any size paper with these. This used a 12 by 12. I've got two here that use little mat stacks from Can Company. I have one that's using six by six paper pad. Any kind of paper, use up your scraps, that sort of thing. You will need chipboard for the covers, and then you'll need some envelopes, and I'll talk more about it, the envelopes in a minute. How this one attaches together is you have a shaped element that is the hinge that hooks the two envelope pages together. Now, I have it to where it's just attached near the spine of the mini so that a tag can slip under there as well. And then you also have photo mats that slip into the envelopes themselves. So this one is using a snowflake shape that is from Sizzix, a Sizzix die. You could also use um, Cricut um, cutouts, you know, cut out on your Cricut, your silhouette, your slice, any of your electronic cutters will do that. You can use die cuts. You could actually cut your own shapes if you wanted to. You know that the fold the paper and snip out and make snowflakes unique that you used to make in, in elementary school. You could do that so, same sort of thing. It'd be fun to do with kids. Um, but you can make it pretty much any theme, but it goes super quick, super easy. So that's the first one. The second one I did is this more romantic one. This is using the basic gray um, Curio brand new paper collection that they have. Super yummalicious. So this one, I wanted it to be a little bit more ram romantic. Oh, on this one, as you can see, I use some um, swirly rose flowery ribbon on the spine. The, the spines don't look that ugly. I just wanted to cover it up and dress it up a little bit. With this one, I used a sheer black ribbon. You can still see the envelopes under there, but that doesn't bother me. Added some lace. In this one, because it's a larger format and uses a six by nine envelope that I then cut down to six inches, these are just the standard shipping envelopes like you get at the um, office supply store. And I just cut it off so that it was six by six. So then I just had to trim my six by six papers down slightly because I just like a little bit of the envelope edge showing through. With this one, because it was a larger format, I was able, instead of using tags, I used um, the pattern paper to create photo mats. With this one then, another Sizzix die that I used is a butterfly. The problem that I ran into with this one, it has just a small area that is connecting the two pages together. And because of the size of this one, it got a little wonky. So what I added here is just some punch flowers. So it essentially has 
three hinge points on each page on this one. I then added some stickles to the butterfly to dress those up a little bit. I just love this paper collection. It is so pretty. It's got really some gorgeous colors and stuff to it. This one also, in each of the pockets then, on this one, I have two photo mats in each of the pockets rather than just one. So tons of real estate in here. Um, another, but yet another fun, fun album. This pattern is um, actually on the paper itself. And then I just slept on a real fast, easy um, Prima Rose on there and boom, it was done quick. Um, next I have a Christmas version. This used one of the, um, well, this is one for the Thanksgiving one, but it, they're four and three quarters by seven or six and three quarters. Little mats. Use one of those. It'll make a mini album. This is some of the um, die cuts that you can also get for the collection. Um, and this one, what I did on this one is rather than having the, the photo mat tags going from the side, they go in from the top. So it doesn't matter how you want to open your envelopes. Then these have little tags that I use a Martha Stewart Jingle Bell um, to make create the tags. So you can have photo underneath, tag can have photo or journaling on it. So this is just super quick, easy Christmas. This is one of Tim Holt's brand new dies, um, his Christmas ornaments. So you could also be decorating up the, um, the little ornament in the center, but that shape is what creates creates the hinge. Okay, last one here. This is a great one for um, Thanksgiving coming up. This is a thankful one. I use the Tattered Leaves um, Sizzix die on this one, one, another one of the Tim Holtz new ones. Um, use some of those um, here on the cover, another Prima Flower. Open it up and I have that um, leaf as the hinge point here, but I didn't have quite enough area to hold the tags and I wanted to have the tags in here. So this is a um, EK Success punch that I used right here and I just have it glued right in the edge to create more of a pocket for the tag to fit in. This one I used some corner punches on the photo mat just to give a little bit of interest in those to stick out. So um, this one's out of, this is a K and Company paper. I love these little squirrels. Um, that was out last year. I don't know if this one's probably not still available, but there are probably still some other autumn -y flavored ones out there. But this just gives a collection of those leaves then in the center. Use the same method to attach your, your covers as well, and I'll show you how to do that. So let me real quick kind of run through how to make one of these albums. As I said, first you're going to need some envelopes. You can use these 6 by 9s Any envelope will work. Any size envelope will work. Um, here's some little A1 envelopes. These are what I used in this little Christmas one. Here is some 5x5 five five envelopes that I found. That's what I'm going to be using um, for my project I'm going to show you here in a minute. Here's some standard A2, which is the um, the four and a quarter by five and a half, you know, eight and a half by eleven folded in fours, standard envelope size. Here, here is a A10. You know, this is an A10 envelope is the size that your bills come in. Now I know in Europe, Canada, Australia, your envelopes are different sizes. Doesn't matter. Just use whatever size. When I did this one, I actually cut it down the middle, and that's what I used here in the Thankful album. It's actually the the nine. It's like nine and an eighth by or four and an eighth by nine and a half, and three quarters. And I just or nine and a half. Sorry, and I just cut it in half. Um, I always close the flaps up. When I close the flaps up, I actually use my ATG adhesive rather than the adhesive that comes on the envelope. I just feel a little bit more secure with that. But as you can see, any kind of envelope that you've got, you can even recycle envelopes. That's what you're going to use. Um, and what you're going to do is close your flap up and then I kind of, I tend to open up the side opposite where the flap is. Um, for instance, on this one here. This one I opened up here. The only one I didn't do that was on this one, and as I said, I cut it down. And I cut it down to an even dimension to make the math easier. You're then going to be cutting um, paper to cover over. I like to leave about an eighth inch around, all the way around. So if I measure this, this is five by five. This I've cut this four and three quarters square so that I have that eighth inch around. You can you can do um, corner punches if you want, or you can just leave it square. But I like to have a little bit of my envelope showing um, when I do this. Now with this one, I am using, again, I'm using that snowflake die. This is a five by five um, square envelope. 
and this is one I'm going to show you how to attach to the cover here I, and this one I'm going to alternate silver and um, pearl uh, snowflakes as I go through it so let me show you how you attach it so I've got the snowflake here on the front I've attached the snowflake here and now I'm going to attach another one and it's going to be another silver one what I've done is I've taken my die cut or my Cricut cut or whatever it is I'm going to use as my shape to connect my two envelopes together and what I've done is I've scored it down the middle now it doesn't have to be symmetrical as you saw with the leaves in here these are not symmetrical and I actually scored it so that this stem was over on one side and the point is over on the other so it doesn't have to be symmetrical um, but what I'm gonna then do is I'm going to take go ahead and have it folded in half and I'm gonna glue it to where the glue extends out between a quarter and a half inch out from that fold so that it just also depends on your shape um, I wouldn't go less than a quarter of an inch but it in this way there's still plenty of area here that is going to be that allows my tag to tuck under there so I've got my glue and you, you want to gl use glue rather than adhesive because glue is going to dry and not have your tags getting stuck on it so then you're going to align your fold of your your hinge element with the fold of your um, covered envelope below just stick that on so that's like so and then I'm going to stick it to this side where I've already been starting to build my book and it's the first one you can do it while the pages are open but after that you kind of have to do it this folded way so I just found that it works best to do the folded way so keeping it folded I'm gonna lay it on top lining up the fold edge lining up the envelope just below and that fold edge give it a second with the glue to stick for a second and then when I open it up so there you see then I can take and I can put the tags that I already have cut I can just slip those right underneath that snowflake and then what I'm going to be doing is taking each subsequent one after I've, you know I've got all my envelopes covered and everything and ready to go so each subsequent one I'm going to be adding my snowflake hinges to hook them together again it could be pretty much any shape um, let me show you how to go ahead and attach your cover now normally I wouldn't decorate the cover but I wanted to go ahead and get this cover decorated um, to start with and then I'll attach it on so I'll just flip that over it's gonna essentially attach in a similar fashion except with um, to attach to the cover rather than doing it just close to this folded edge I'm gonna cover over the entire um, shaped element that I'm using as my hinge it's gonna make it a little bit more secure attachment so just cover it up with glue and doing the same sort of thing make sure you get it right set up and I'm going to center that in and lining my fold edge up with the cut edge there now if I were doing it to where I have my um, um, photo mats going in from the top I may want to have it skewed more towards the bottom and not necessarily centered so just let that get stuck down underneath there so then that attaches here and it just is more secure if you're using the whole thing attached to the chipboard just because of the weight of the chipboard um, in each of these pockets then you're going to cut a photo mat and you want that photo mat to be slightly smaller than your envelope I do it about a quarter inch smaller so it slips in and out and then I make it so it extends out or I put that little finger punch a finger pull cut out like I did on this one so whatever you know kind of method that you want to use um, you know here I've made sure it's not going to hang out over the side but um, essentially that's what this one's going to look like with those kind of that real neutral silver and gray tones to it um, I've got my tags all cut out so I can put all my my tags inside as well and then you can embellish it embellishment embellish it as much as you want to or keep it really simple and make the flowers do the or the flowers the photos do your talking so anyway there's a fast fun easy project to do go crazy with it have a good time but anyway thanks for visiting my first day of Christmas see you on Wednesday thanks a bunch